today's video is going to be based around the polishing stage of Master Dice. Um, it's not going to focus very well, but um, I'm making Master Dice today, and the process will be um, polishing, sanding basically, these little pads, and um, hopefully achieving a nice glossy, glassy, glassy finish. So these dice here, not finished yet, but um, to achieve these dice, these ones right here, it took me so freaking long, so many attempts with my resin printer to achieve this. Like, I don't even think this is even perfect. Like, I've got, I'm OCD as hell, and I do not think this is perfect. I think it's acceptable, but at the moment, I do not believe exactly that these things here are my final product. Have a look at this shit. I think I totaled like eight attempts in total to achieve these. Trust the process, ladies and gentlemen. Also, before I start, I should also say this isn't a tutorial. It's simply a video of me making dice. Uh, you could call it a tutorial if you'd like, if you follow along and watch the whole video, but we're gonna start now. This is 7,000 grit. For the first time ever polishing dice, I don't think this is too bad. You'll be able to see that it is shaped differently. Um, the reason being as to why Nova Cash has gone with the design of this compared to a more traditional approach of the um, D12 is because we we're going to be adding in inclusives. Not just going to be mixing in resins and different colors, etc. We're going to be adding in very cool, intricate designs and models. So we're going to be 3D printing with our resin printer inside. Another reason why is because if you look closely to this face here, um, you'll be able to tell that it's got a bit of a wider viewing angle to view inside the dice. So whatever face it lands on when you're rolling it, not only shows the number on top like it's meant to, but you'll be able to see what's inside a lot clearer. After many, many hours and numerous attempts, I was finally able to achieve a result that I'm somewhat satisfied with. Not a perfect set of dice. They're not. They're not perfect. I'll give you that. But um, I think I think they're all right. You can see that there are still like some like minor imperfections to it. Do like the, do like the makeup thing. <laughs> there we go. Um, there are some like minor faults with them that I'll get in there and touch them up by hand at some point. But um, at the end of this project that I've done, after, as I've said, many hours to try and get these looking so shiny and nice, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, Dice Masters, they weren't really the easiest thing for me to craft or make. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of crafting, but I did spend a lot of time, as I did show you in the video of myself, making multiple failed attempts at printing out these master dice. Um, I designed my dice in, um, what's it called? Some software. I'll throw it up right here. This is the software. This is me having fun with the software. Um, and here you're able to craft your dice, um, perfect them in the software 
and you can add in your own logo, your own custom fonts, you can change the bevels, you can make them pointy, it also provides a wide range of multiple different types of dice styles. This is my master dice set. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little journey of mine, a little bit of taste into cinematic stuff. It's not even that cinematic, but oh well. Um, do my best. Fun little project to keep me busy while I'm working on other projects as well. We're looking at collaborating with some cool local businesses. B -b 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 businesses. 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 Local businesses based in Australia to help expand our range that we can supply for you all and hopefully we'll come up with a product in the end that looks really eye-catching. You'll see more in future videos to come of very cool dice. I think. <laughs> see ya!